Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday morning. We are crazily, it is Advent already. I don't know about y'all, but even though this has been a weird year, it has flown by. But it is Monday, November 30th, almost ready for December. Um, this morning, uh, I came across a scripture passage that uh, was a little striking to me. It's uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in the Spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to interests of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset <clears throat> as Christ Jesus. Uh, this passage struck me today as we are uh, spiking um, in COVID again. And... The main reason, out of all the reasons, is people aren't wearing masks. And that, to me, is just mind-boggling. I'm just going to be honest. People keep saying, well, it's my right to not wear a mask. Personally, I have not seen that in the Constitution. But I'm not going to debate it. Um, but what I do have issues with is it really shows... A selfishness that is pervasive uh, in our culture. It's all about us. It's about what's good for me. Uh, it's about what is makes me money, gives me possessions, what makes me comfortable. And we wind up ignoring what is good for other people. Uh, that we don't focus on um, on our brothers and sisters personally. I think this is incredibly un-American, and that is my opinion. But what is not his opinion is that it is unchristian. Paul is very clear here that as followers of Jesus, if we have experienced the love of Christ at all, we're supposed to share it. If we've enjoyed the joy of Christ, we are supposed to be like minded with Christ. We're supposed to put away selfish ambition and conceit. And instead, we're supposed to look at other people. Uh, we are a people, both our country and our faith, where we have freedoms, but it's not a freedom about ourselves. It's about freedom of us. It's about joy of us. It's about love of us. And the more we think only about ourselves, the more uh, our culture degrades, our faith degrades, our church degrades. It makes me sad. But what's really neat is this is the one month of the year uh, that, that kind of our... our desire of selfishness gets tampered. It starts with Thanksgiving, where we remember uh, to give thanks. Um, we don't always give thanks for the right things, uh, but we at least give thanks. And then we get into the time of Christmas, the time when we're supposed to be focusing on giving, uh, of love, of, um, of Christ's sacrifice for us. And uh, we, we start to get to a point where we're actually thinking about other people more than ourselves. Um, and that to me, this is, this is the time. This is the time for us to remember uh, to, to not put ourselves first, but to put other people first. To uh, not care about our freedoms as much as we care about our brothers' and sisters' freedoms. Uh, a time that we can remember that the like-mindedness we are supposed to have with each other is one of love and compassion. 
And that is what we should be striving for in Advent and then in Christmas. And then let's just make it a habit to where it becomes who we are, the true followers of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Holy One, it's hard to think about other people. It's really easy to think about what makes ourselves happy and comfortable. But that's not what you asked us to do. You've asked us to think of other people, to love other people, to put other people first. Help us to do that. Help us to love you enough to love others. Help us to care about how you lived enough to live the, that way for others. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen.